and welcome to today's day trading recap for Thursday, April 8th. A uh, nice way to end the week, $1,081, so our third four-figure day. And I think the other day was like 885 so really solid week. Uh, the reason I'm saying end of week is because tomorrow, Friday the 9th, we will not be streaming live. I'll be traveling, so I won't be able to do much day trading. So this is the end of the end of the week for me. Uh, let's go through today, then I'll come back and recap the week, starting with our Mighty 90. So took a loss in MU today. Uh, MU was my biggest winner uh, on Wednesday and Tuesday. Uh, today it was my only loss. So minus 532 on MU, Zoom plus 160, so it went one for one on our Mighty 90s. No pairs trades today. On the runners, great day on the runners with just two trades. Two, uh, two for two on our runners, Piton plus 943 and Roku plus 510. So let's take a look at these and then we'll come back and recap the week. Had our best week that we've had in quite some time after having one of our worst weeks last week. So we'll go over that here in just a second. All right, starting with MU, uh, had a mighty 90 in MU, had this big push down and MU came up and it tagged its all-time high by just a few pennies today and they just really retreated uh, as it came down had this nice volume bar so at yesterday's open I, I got long right here looking for a potential bounce and it started to and then I I added to it down here at the unchanged mark yesterday's close bounced up got out of half excuse me got out of a third of my position and then it really just kind of chopped around it kept giving us a uh, a, a glimpse that it might pop, a glimpse that it might pop, and just never did. And so finally, at about 10 a.m. Uh, on this little bounce here, I just got out of the rest of my position and uh, and took a loss on the trade. As you can see, I know, shout out to Ed and Candy and a couple other folks in the community. I know they held on, so hopefully they caught that up move. I just had to be done for the day, so closed it out. That was my only loss of the day. My other mighty 90 was in Zoom Zoom. Had this big push up, higher volume there and there. I waited until it got up to here, to uh, yesterday's high. Came down, got out of half my position there, waited through this chop, and then finally on this second little flush down, got out of the rest and booked a small profit. Just had a couple contracts in there, so booked 160. Piton, my biggest winner. Piton was a nice one for me here today and could have been even nicer had I had more time to hold on, but... Uh, had this initial flush up, big volume. On this little pullback here, I got long and immediately shot up. I got out of half my position, got out another uh, three quarters of it there. When it pulled back to this pivot, I added, it took some heat, and then it finally popped up. Sat through a little bit more chop, popped up, got out of part of that. And on this last push right here, I believe, yeah, right, right in here is where I got out of the rest. So plus 943 in Piton, very nice trade there with uh with a lot more room to go had i uh had i been able to have had the time to hold on uh roku plus 510 so in roku uh had this big volume bar as high as the first here on this pullback to the pivot got long kind of chopped around for a little bit and then boom got out of half there actually i may have gotten out of half on this initial bounce uh, yeah i think i did and then it came back down uh chopped around i don't I think I added back in, uh, maybe I didn't actually, I, now I can't remember. I think I may have added back in when it came back to this pivot. Anyway, bounced up again, got out of some more, and then got out of my last piece up here. So nice win, 510 in Roku, so plus 1,081 for the day. Uh, let's bring this back over. I'll show you what we did for the week. Uh, starting with the Mighty 90s, so total P&L for the Mighty 90s, plus 887 on 10 trades. Here's the cool thing, 80% win rate on our Mighty 90, so awesome, awesome win rate. Uh, eight out of the 10 winners there. On the pairs trades, just did two pairs trades, uh, had one winner for 105 and one loser for 189, so net net minus $84 on the pairs trades on just those two. And then on the runners, plus 4,800 on the week, 1,000 on Monday, 1,300 on Tuesday, almost 1,000 uh, yesterday, and then over 1,400 today. Uh, and look at this win rate, over 81% on the runners, which is pretty, pretty good on 16 trades. So if we take a look at our 
get that off the screen. Uh, if we take a look at our summary, year to date, we're up over 2,700 in the mighty 90s, up over 2,100 in the pairs trades, uh, almost 19,000 on the runners, total day trading profits year to date since January 1st, uh, a little over 23,000. Now, here's the thing. Uh, if you watched my recap last week, we had last Thursday, because Good Friday and market was closed, uh, we had a we had a terrible week, one of our worst weeks since going back to the uh, middle of January, and this whole the whole premise of this negative uh, P and L here was based on really on a couple trades in Amazon and Tesla that I let get out of hand, just completely my lack of following my own rules, and so I was pretty frustrated about that. This week, the exact opposite. In fact, the best week that we've had year to date plus fifty six hundred dollars uh on the week and um and so just a really solid bounce back not only from a PL standpoint but just from the fact of the the way that we followed the rules the way that we you know cut our losers short and we we booked profits fairly quickly as well and and really we're, we're pretty selective in the trades that we took and it just it really paid off well so i'm really excited to continue that type of action and and see if we can continue to book some big weeks like we did. And this is just through four days. This is one of those weeks where you wish it wouldn't end. Wish I could trade tomorrow on Friday, but I'll take it because that uh, that's a solid week. So that's through year to date. If we look at all time since we've been tracking here, we got the mighty 90s up 9,800, pairs trades almost 3,000, runners over 47,000, uh, almost $60,000 total in our um in our day trade since it's going back to August. And if we compare this week's P&L 5,600, we haven't done that. We had a 5,400 back in February this year. But before that, we have to go all the way back to September, the week of September 14th, where we booked over $7,100 was, was the last time we, we had a week this good. So Good stuff there. Uh, if we look at days of the week, uh, obviously every day of the week was green this week, but um, I still haven't gone back and and uh, gotten the data from the others. But uh, you know, Wednesday and Wednesday and Thursday continue to be the most profitable. Big bounce back on Tuesday though, uh, plus nineteen hundred, so that helped. Uh, but just on this little data set, uh, Tuesday still kind of the, the worst. But I will eventually go back and get all the other ones. Uh, it's just going to take me some time to go back and get that info uh, input in here. So uh, all good stuff. Hope everybody else did good. I know some of the some of the folks in our community did even much better than me uh, this week. So congrats on that. Uh, we will not be streaming live. I mentioned tomorrow on Friday, which is uh, April 9th, but we'll be back live on Monday. So look forward to seeing you then. Take care, everybody. Have a good week and uh, weekend. See ya.